All right, folks, I had this issue, okay? Let me give you what happened. So, I was making a game, okay? Just like you might be making a game in Unreal Engine. Halfway through the process, you go, you know what? I should probably have revision control. And I know what you're gonna say. You should've done it from the beginning. Shh, shh. Don't live in a perfect world, okay? Where we'll learn and, and grow and, <laughs> and decide to do things a little later than maybe we should have. So, I decided to put my project in Unreal Engine. And I decided on GitHub because that's one that I'm familiar with and it shouldn't be that hard, right? That's a lot of documentation, you know, I tried Perforce and that was impossible. I was doing my GitHub and this issue came up, okay? So I did some Googling, you know, like every good engineer, I went to st straight to Stark Overflow and this is what I found. This line. First things first, I didn't know you could put console lines on GitHub. So I did learn this, this little secret. Here in the repository, you got an opening command prompt. Okay, well now this is what happened. I did my good old copy pasting and the problem didn't get solved. So I kept going, you know, I kept going. So I got this dude, okay, saying I could remove the cache or whatever. But I thought about it and I was like, man, this is my first time using GitHub. Am I really gonna be having any cache on that shit at all? That makes no sense. So I run the line, I tried to push my commit. They didn't work. So we ended up right here. Can anyone help me upload in Unreal 4 Pro? You know you're in trouble when you're on Reddit looking for this stuff. So this guy, he goes, that's too much data for one push. Seven gigs. Mine was 24. So I was like, you know what? Fair enough. That is a lot of gigs. So, you know, he tells you to use a git ignore, which by the way, that's, that, that's done automatically. So I didn't think that was a problem. But then he says, just do like 400, 800 meg megabytes at a time, you know? Well, you know, makes sense for what he's saying. But the thing is that I have no idea how to do that. And he didn't explain it. So I was like, all right, I guess I'll look it up, you know, how to uh, separate my commit or whatever, you know, like, how do I do that? So I, so I found this version right here going with all these fucking lines that I didn't understand anything. You know, he's kind of writing something, but I have no idea what he's trying to say. Like, like, like watch Rebase. I have no idea. What, what's head? I'm a version. I, I couldn't know. But then it clicked. So I'm going to show you how I ended up fixing it. With these, I'm assuming that you know you have a GitHub desktop, LFS. I know how to create a repository, okay? So let's let's create one. This one I'm gonna call Minecraft. Of course. And the most important, don't forget you get ignored. It's gonna save you a lot of data. Now we wait. So there you go, you finished doing whatever you needed to, but you realize that on your changes you have nothing, okay? Now this is when you create a repository wherever you have your project right so you did it properly you'll see the right in history okay initial commit and you have all your stuff you know like i have 2000 files on that let's try publishing it and see what happens and there is the son of a gun okay so what do we do now this is the actual tutorial right here it took me forever to get here but here we are you're gonna go to your history okay and that initial commit, you're gonna fucking undo that shit. Just revert it. And now, you're gonna click on whatever. Press Ctrl A on your keyboard. Right click. Exclude selected files, you hear me? There you go. And now you're gonna go from the top. So, you know, somewhere, somewhere reasonable, like here, let's say. Oh fuck, I fucked it up. And you're gonna go, include selected files, you have 430. Yeah, I'll say, you know, between 400, 500, 600 files is good. You include them. That is definitely Minecraft 1 right there. You commit to main. You wait. Okay, that's done. So you go to history. And there it is. And now you push it. You wait again. And there it is, fellas. We did it. That is a successful push on Git. You have like a quarter of your project in it. So now what you do? you do it again until it's all in and it works i've actually tried it you know it's all so good i can show you here my github it's right in there and what it's gonna tell you you know you're welcome for saving your life you know so i'm sorry you gotta come to a silly guy with an accent on the middle of youtube to get the important information but you know you know you're kind of like chimpanzees with some of that tiss you know what i'm saying so end up giving advice like whatever this means here what i got you if you got any more questions, ask me sometime making games. So here was Johnny the Game Dev. I'll see you in the next one.